My name is Wes Adams, and I'm here with Maurice Patel, Entertainment Industry Manager. Maurice, today we're going to talk about something new that Autodesk is offering. We've seen a lot of changes in the past year in our industries, both in the visual effects and AAA game development. What can you tell me about what Autodesk is announcing today? Yeah, so we're announcing rental options, and this is going to be in addition to our perpetual licenses. We're going to offer both the option to you know, purchase a perpetual license or purchase a rental plan. As you mentioned, there's been a lot of uh, things happening in the industry. The visual effects industry has been undergoing a lot of turmoil. At the same time, AAA uh, titles for the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 are going to be increasingly complex. So both in film and games, we see customers needing more flexibility and more control over their budgets. The introduction of rental options allows our customers to have that flexibility, to scale production up and down as they need it, or if you're a smaller independent producer or a freelancer, to just purchase a rental uh, for the period that you actually need the software. So you're not paying for the software when you don't use it. So Autodesk isn't getting rid of its perpetual options? No, Autodesk is not getting rid of its perpetual options. We actually see that for customers that have long-term production needs where they need software you know, day in, day out for multiple years, then the perpetual offering is the most cost-effective offering. Similarly, if you're starting up and you want to reduce your upfront costs, then ha having a rental, uh, uh, purchasing a rental plan is actually a much more affordable way of getting into production without having to you know, uh, lay down the initial cost of a full software license. So that's interesting. It really sounds like this is, has a potential to benefit a lot of our customers, whether they're big or small. What, besides the cost, do these people get out of a rental option? I think they get three kind of benefits. The first benefit, obviously, is that you can pay for the software as and when you need it. You know, you, you're purchasing really for the software only when you require it, and you're only paying for it for that period of time. The second thing is that it gives you access to the latest software. So whatever, you know, if you need it for this three months, it's always the latest software. Next year you need it for three months, it'll be the latest software at that point in time. So you're always getting the latest software. And the third reason is that you don't have the large upfront costs. You don't have to buy a special license plus subscription, which can be daunting for someone, especially someone who's on a tight budget. If you're an independent, if you're a freelancer, and you really only have a short-term project, you don't necessarily have the budget to, to fund a full perpetual license. So in terms of the flexibility of purchasing a rental plan, what are the different options that are available? So you can either purchase a rental plan for a year, for a quarter, which is three months, or for a, a month. And is there any difference between the rental plan and a perpetual license? No, it's exactly the same feature set. It's the same software. You're just getting it under a rental plan rather than purchasing a perpetual license. And which of our products are available to be purchased through a rental plan today? We offer all of our entertainment creation suites, so that's the standard, the premium, and the ultimate editions. We also offer Maya, as well as 3DS Max, and obviously the new product that we just announced in August, Maya LT. And you know, how do you think the customers are going to be able to choose which plan is right for them? So I think it really depends on what they need to do. Uh, obviously, if you're a small startup or if you're a large company, you're going to have slightly different requirements, and the plan is going to appeal to you in different ways. So when we look at kind of our customers' needs and when we talk to our customers, we really see them kind of along these two axes. One axis is kind of the, the size of the company, and the second is the, uh, the duration of the project. So I think it really boils down to what your needs are. I think if you, if you know that you're going to need the software day in, day out for multiple years, then you're obviously going to opt for a perpetual license. It's the most cost-effective way to have a permanent production capability in the long term. If you're a smaller company or if you're a startup and you want to reduce your upfront costs and you, your project needs might be more short term, three months, six months, nine months, a year, a year and a half, then uh, rental uh, options would be more cost effective. And that's why we actually have multiple uh, rental plans. So, you know, where can customers go to learn more about our new rental plans? So the best site to go is our area community site, area.autodesk.com. There's a lot of information. We have a great infographic that explains a lot of this in a visual way, as well as frequently asked questions. So any questions you have about the actual you know, nitty-gritty details of these offerings, those can all be found on our community site. Great, Maurice. Thanks so much for taking the time today. Thank you, Wes. And thank you. Thank you.